Alrighty then. How do we uh, start our conversation? Well, first of all, I have no problem, no matter how I feel about you personally, I respect the truth, I respect the real. I will acknowledge facts. I will acknowledge truth and I will give credit to anyone no matter who they are whether they are uh, racist Europeans or uh, in our recent case our traitors and our backstabbers or in the case of serial killer Anthony Mylon Ross I have no problem acknowledging the truth because truth is a powerful force and it is a great benefit and I would do myself a disservice because I don't like the vessel or have a problem with the vessel that truth comes out of then I do myself a disservice and I miss out on a wisdom or I miss out on an activity that would benefit me. I want to give credit to Sister Noble. I want to give credit to Sister Karen for having these conversations about domestic violence, sex trafficking, domestic abuse, child abuse, pedophilia, and the list goes on and on. It would not be right that we not give them credit for bringing to our attention these issues that in our community, this community called black, or this soul community, it is a conversation that we need. So I credit them for teaching me, for giving me information that I did not realize. This woman, I guess she's a woman. I, I hope so. I she lie about everything. She could be a man transformed into a woman. She looks horrible. Oh my goodness. She horrible. This beast was able to take advantage of a situation I was in. I was in a very low point in my life. Unlike myself, when Sister Alberta was in a low point in her life, I sought to uplift her and support her, and I did. But this is a real predator. And she noticed that I was doing pretty bad. Now you know, by looking at this picture of this beast, of this orangutan, this big ass pork chop, nasty looking creep, you know, there's no way. And anybody that knew me, no, I wouldn't have nothing to do with this. 300 pound rhinoceros. So when people saw that I was romantically associating with this elephant, this hippopotamus, they knew something was wrong. Only a person 
who is suffering the very low of their life would mess with something like this. So when I first started talking, and all predators, they act nice when they first meet you. And I didn't have nothing to lose. So I decided to go be with and pretend to be in some marriage with this creep, relationship with this creep. However, I did make very clear, and my brother Talib, I did not hear the video, brother Talib told me that she confessed and she admit that we agreed upon a sexless marriage, no sex. I already knew I was not interested in trying to have no sex with this woman because she was not sexually attractive to me. Look at her. She looked a, a little better a few years ago. She's fat and disgusting. All kinds of stomachs and bumps and bulges. Yuck. You don't want to see her naked. And she brags that she got a big backside. And she got a big backside at the top. But then when you start looking towards the bottom, there's no roundness. It's just flat. It's just disgusting. So I knew this was somebody I didn't want to even try to mess with at all. Now for some people, Y'all are sex fiends or whatever. I've never been that. I have no problem with a sexless marriage. A sexless relationship. Never had a problem with it. So she get me in her spider's well. And she knows I'm in a bad situation. And she knows that we're supposed to be in a sexless relationship. And so one night, she closed the door. I'm in my pajamas. And she knows we're not supposed to have any relations. And she basically pulled down my pajamas and proceeded to rape me because I did not want her. And if somebody takes you and you do not want them. That is called rape. What difference is it because it's a woman? I did not want her. I submitted to her. Because I did not want to be homeless on the street. I wanted a home. And I just laid there. And allowed her to rape me. I said no. I said no from the very beginning of our relationship. We're supposed to be in a sexless, no sex marriage. She said out of her mouth, that's what it's supposed to be. And then she turns around and go into the public talking about, I got a little dingling. You ain't supposed to know anything about my dingling because we're not supposed to be intimate. I don't want you. You took me. And you kept messing with me until my body began to respond to you. I didn't want you. You're not sexually attractive to me or probably a whole lot of other folks. Some people don't give a damn. A whole is a whole. I don't want you. I didn't want you then. I don't want you now. I am not attracted to fat. I am not attracted to bulges and bumps. And flab, you are obese. You're not fat, you are obese. You way over fat, you are obese. A big fat hippopotamus. You weigh just as much as a cow. That's a damn shame. One meal a day. You haven't ate one meal a day in years, in decades. You bring shame to the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. You bring shame to the nation of Islam. Nasty mouth. Vulgar. Nasty attitude. Self-righteous. 
want to be some kind of leader, want to be some kind of teacher, some kind of God. So she thought she was going to be able to punk me out and make me one of her cult members. All her children in her house, they know if they don't do what this demon, this tyrant says, she will throw them out the house. They know this. And she makes sure they don't have life skills in order for them to be able to go out in society and take care of themselves. All these children under her care going to be in bad shape. They don't have basic living skills to go out into society because they have a troll. They have a tyrant. They have a dictator as a mother that don't give a damn about them because she lives in some kind of fantasy world where she's some kind of brand new Elijah Muhammad. Some kind of messenger. You're not. You're a creep. You're a rapist. Just because she's a woman don't mean she can't be a rapist. Just because she's a woman don't mean she can't be charged with domestic abuse. She verbally abused me. And she raped me. And she stole my money out of my safe. An all around predator. And that's what she's still doing. Going around the internet looking for victims. Even our brother Talib had a run in with her. She was doing the same thing. But he didn't fall for the Kool-Aid. Unfortunately, because of my really low condition, I fell for the Kool-Aid. It would have been better for me to live in my car than go through the drama messing with this predator, this rapist. That's what she is. I don't believe you. Well, then, if you don't believe me, then you don't believe none of these women. Then you don't believe anything Sister Nova said when she said that she was molested as a child at five years old. You don't believe nothing Karen said when she said she was uh, beat up by her boyfriend. Y'all a bunch of hypocrites. If those women suffered abuse, then I am a sufferer. The woman said herself, we're supposed to be in a sexless relationship. I barely touched the woman. I did not want to even kiss her. She was not attractive to me at all. Especially when I began to see her true colors. She's nothing but a leech and a parasite. A welfare queen. Stealing her, her grandchildren from her daughters so she can get that foster care money. She don't give a damn about those grandchildren or nobody. She only cares about herself. She don't give a damn about Sister Noble. She doing whatever she can to try to get to me because I know exactly who and what she is. A predator, a rapist, a thief, a liar, a manipulator, a tyrant, a dictator. That's what she is. And unlike Karen, unlike Noble, I go after the rapist. But I didn't exactly know exactly know the extent of my abuse until they brought it to the surface. Now I see the whole picture. I was raped. Whenever somebody forced themselves on you and you do not want them, that's called rape. You tell me the reason why I want her. I don't have a history of messing around with women. I have no children. She forced herself on me, taking advantage of a situation. And I knew she would throw me out if I uh, rejected her advances. I was raped. She raped me. And there's nothing that you can say that can change that fact. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Noble, for opening up my eyes to the extent of the abuse that this woman put on me.